Hey guys, Kurt here of NK Garage and we're back. I had a successful weekend. I went tag sailing with my family. My sister lives over in Kent, Connecticut and they were doing a local community tag sale event. So the town of Kent and the town of New Milford were both doing tag sales. There was a map that was connected to the phone with GPS and all that. My sister was doing all that. So she was guiding us along. We probably went to about 30 tag sales. They got some great stuff and so did I. So let's take a look. This is a variety of a couple sales. So we'll start over here on the left and I'll take you through what I got. First off here, we got some old tools. I picked this up out of actually an estate sale that was posted at the same day. And they had a lot of stuff outside that I wasn't really interested in, household stuff, china, cups, mugs, plates, all that stuff. And I said to the lady, I said, you got any tools? And she's like, oh, well, we're not ready to sell the tools yet, but we're gonna have another sale coming up. You know, you might wanna check that out, but we, we haven't gone through the tools yet. And I'm like, okay. But I noticed these hanging up on the back wall and she had said, you know, take a look around the garage though. So I did and I found these six pieces on the back wall. I think my favorite here is actually this old Ford double box wrench. You can see the nice Ford logo right there. Mark USA, the 01A-17017B with the circle M and the 42. I'm not sure what all those numbers mean, but this is a cool old double box wrench and it's in really good shape. I haven't touched it. This was just how it was hanging on the wall. So I was pretty happy with it. You know, I've gotten these before. I think they're cool. I don't necessarily collect them, but I do put them on our eBay store so that collectors out there can add that to their collection. I got four adjustable wrenches here. We've got a unmarked 12 inch but it seems to be well made and it's definitely old and antique. It says in there 12 inch drop forged steel and it looks like there might have been another marking here but I can't read it at all. But it's a good heavy duty 12 inch adjustable wrench and it works great. So I picked it up anyways. Got a 10 inch Billings adjustable wrench. It's the 78 or yep 78-10. Uh, Made in Hartford, Connecticut. It's got the Triangle B logo there. USA made, of course. And this one's also in good shape. So I appreciate these old adjustable wrenches. I think they're a heck of a lot better than the new stuff you'll get. So I always pick them up whenever I can. This one here is interesting. It's actually marked just with a six there. And then on the other side, right in the corner, it's marked West Germany. So this is... Definitely a tool that predates the fall, the Berwyn wall. And I picked it up just because I thought that was interesting. There's no maker's mark on it other than West Germany, but it's a nice little six inch adjustable. I got another six inch adjustable here. If you can read that, that's the Dunlap logo. Definitely another oldie, just a regular drop forge steel. No you know, special finish or anything, just the, the bare steel finish here. Cool wrench, definitely vintage. And I got an old pale pair of channel locks. These are the 356, probably a six inch, you know, end nippers. In good shape. This is before the uh, grips. And somebody actually tried to put their name on here, but I can't really make that out. I think the last name was Weiss. Maybe that was the owner or a previous owner at some point. Moving on, the next sale I went to I got myself a bucket. And the reason why I got a bucket is because everything else you see here, except for this Stanley hardware, was included. There are 30 items, including the bucket. Basically what I did is I just went around and took stuff that I wanted and put it in the bucket. Some stuff was marked with a price, like these foil tape rolls were a dollar each. Uh, the pipe wrench was marked $10. The crescent wrench was marked $2. And the rest of this, all the punches, chisels, wrench, nut drivers, and the snap ring pliers were all on a 50 cent tarp. And 50 cent tarp to me just means cheap tools. So I picked up anything on that tarp that I thought I wanted. I got a bunch of these Dasco Pro chisels and punches. There are 
12 of those, and there are four by Mayhew. And for 50 cents a piece, like, come on, that was just, that was a no-brainer deal. So I picked all those up. I got two of these Helicoil thread repair kits. And, you know, they're used, but there's coils in here, and those coils are not cheap. So I got one that's a metric size, M6 by 1, and this one is SAE quarter inch by 20. So good stuff to have. Figured I'd just pick those up because they're so cheap. Got this old Craftsman wrench, three-quarter inch wrench, uh, combination wrench. It's the E series, made in USA. I believe that was that means it was made by Stanley. I think back in maybe the 80s. Uh, so I picked that up. Two Craftsman nut drivers, old V series, made in USA. We got the three eighths and the three sixteenths. The snap ring pliers. These two with the yellow are actually Craftsman branded. This one here has the the bent end there, which can be convenient. This one has the straight end, but you can change out those, those points if you want. And then there's this one here was made by Walden's True Arc from USA, number uh, 1340, I believe. That's one, the kind that you can, you know, take the knob out and adjust it. So got those, obviously the crescent wrench, pipe wrench that was a no-brainer I couldn't leave those behind especially at those prices I took all of that stuff and I put it in the bucket went up to the guy to pay he looked in the bucket and he just went I don't feel like counting this stuff how about 20 bucks and I said yeah I'll take it for 20 bucks so if you average that all out there's 30 pieces for 20 bucks that's 66 cents a piece including the 24 inch pipe wrench the bucket the crescent wrench everything that's a deal for all of that I was so happy and, you know, I, th I think I basically stole these tools from him. Uh, oh, I also got this interesting square back here. It's called the Universal Square. And it came with the user manu manual and the mini DVD video. And it's an interesting square. I haven't really had time to look at the, the user manual, but obviously, you know, it can be used like a regular square, but in different formats and I think we'll be testing that out we might actually use it on some of our pavers because I can actually put this on top of a large paver block and and mark out across I think that would be convenient so it's going to go in our job trailer and I'm going to try that out at another tag sale I picked up these four Stanley uh, hardware packs at first, I thought I hit the jackpot. They were on a tarp marked $1, and these are about the size of the boxes of the old Stanley Rabbit planes, and I thought I found four brand new Rabbit planes for a dollar each. But as I opened them up, I was a little disappointed to find out they are just hinges, but they're nice galvanized hinges for brand new boxes. I mean, that's got to be $8, $10 a piece, maybe more at the hardware store. These are made by Stanley in the USA. So for a dollar each, I had to take those. And last but not least, uh, another tag sale. This was the only tool in the entire sale, but I saw this sitting there on the table and I was like, okay, Craftsman, Craftsman Professional, heavy duty soldering gun. And I usually don't pick up power tools, electronic tools, stuff like that. Not regularly unless the price is right. But I opened it up and it's, I mean, it's almost mint. And I was thinking about it. The price on here was $5. And I was like, well, let me see. Let me see if these things are desirable. So I went on eBay and I was looking up sold comps and saw that people were selling this. Somebody sold it for like $80. Another guy sold his for $150. And I was like, geez, I guess these, this must be a desirable model. And it's in great shape. Comes with the case and the case cover. Uh, you got the little stand there, so you can rest the soldering iron on the stand as you're working. It's nice. So I picked that up for five bucks, and I'm probably going to test it out, see how it works. If I don't like it, I might resell it on eBay, and I'll just make some some nice quick profit on that one. So that was the conclusion of the day's haul. This was probably the best deal second by the rigid pipe wrench but my favorites here has got to be the adjustable wrenches 
These things are just so handy to have, especially in our line of work where you just need to do basic little things real quick and an adjustable wrench is, can always do a basic job. So I think I'm happy. Uh, I wanna thank you guys again for watching our videos. Uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel that is down below. Just hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel a bunch and you will see our new videos that come out as they come out. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and leave us a comment. Tell us what your favorite tool here is. There's a few to go and look around. You know, this was a small little tag sale tool hole, but for 20 bucks on the bucket, four dollars here and i actually paid a dollar a tool on these you're looking at 30 bucks for all this stuff uh, that's oh 35 sorry with the soldering gun quick math and there you go so thank you guys for watching if you are interested in buying any of our tools ever just check our ebay store out that link is in the description down below everybody from youtube gets 10 percent off that coupon code is nk youtube no space don't worry about capitals it might auto cap, I'm not really sure, but it'll be fine. Just put that in, you'll get 10% off. And if you've got extra time, check out NK Landscaping because we've got some interesting content over there as well with our day-to-day -day landscape construction business. So have a great day and we'll see you guys on the next one.